we have a, um, a thing in this country that I think we kind of forget about every day, and it's really important. We have the best teeth on the planet, okay? And I had a great, great friend come in, and he, he's been very fortunate enough to travel the world, and talks about how we're so concerned about everything being so tender, so super, super, super tender, and you go to these countries where people have maybe one tooth in their head, and all they want is texture. They want to chew that meat. They want something want that has, that it's toothsome. <laughs> it's not about using the tooth, it's about extracting the most flavor from it. And I think we've gotten so hung up on everything being so tender. We've crossbred, everything's been bred to be tender and soft and mealy. We've, we've forgot what textured meat is. Like if you cook, for instance, say just like an octopus, and it's just a little toothsome. Oh my yeah. God, it's the toughest mm -hmm. thing I've ever had in my back. life. Yeah. I can't mm -hmm. chew this. Or yeah. if it's a steak and it, and it has anything in it, like a, a bit of sinew, which anywhere else would be fine. Them, they just they flip. And I people think, complain. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's and crazy. It's, it, there's nothing wrong with toothsomeness or having, you know, a little bit of bite to your food. It actually, I think that is also what we're talking about with like you know grass fed, you know, or pasture raised birds are going to have a different feel to them, a different mouth. You know, I think that you chew those animals, you chew that meat, and it's going to give you a better flavor. It's going to bring draw more out. So. And it makes you enjoy it, and you're not consuming as much, too. Exactly. Uh, eating, where, slower. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. eating slower. Eating mm slower, -hmm. eating less. You're, you're being satiated with less meat.